Do you need to visualize a process, workflow, or system? In VisMe, you can easily create eye-catching flowcharts, concept maps, and decision tree diagrams in just a few minutes. Let me show you how. Click the Create button in your VisMe dashboard, and then type flowchart in the search bar. Alternatively, you can first select a content type, for example, a presentation or a document, and include the flowchart within the document. To start with a document, click the Documents tab and select the template. Click Edit to make changes. Add a new blank page by clicking Add New Page, then select Blank Slide. Or, to design your flowchart as a standalone piece, click Custom Size and then select one of the most common sizes. The process for creating a flowchart in a document or as a standalone piece is the same, so let's create one here. Rename the project first. You have two options to design the flowchart. First, get a head start on your diagram by choosing one of the pre-built flowchart blocks found under the Basics tab. You can choose between solid, outline, or no border styles. Design your flowchart by adding more diagrams from here. Or you can click Data and choose flowcharts to add shapes, including rectangles, ovals, circles, hexagons, diamonds, and rounded rectangles. Decide between fill and outline form. Below the shapes, add text or lines in a variety of styles. Resize each shape by clicking and dragging the selection handles. Select the shape and click the color swatch to change the shape, fill color, border, and roundness. Click Edit to change the font, font size, and other font features. Select the shape and click on one of the gray arrows. As you can see, the color and shape style is applied automatically. Again, click on the shape to change the shape style and color. Edit the text as needed. Select the line and change its thickness by going to Settings. This thickness will also be applied as you connect more shapes. Add more shapes by clicking the individual shapes on the left. Connect them by adding a line and dragging the ends until they touch the shape. To turn the line, drag it from the middle until you reach 90 degrees. Change the thickness and roundness to create a consistent look. Add icons to the flowchart by going to Graphics, then Icons. Search for an icon by keyword. Once you find the one you like, click on it to add it to your flowchart. Move the icon to the correct spot. Keep it selected to change the color. To duplicate the icon, select it and type the keyboard shortcut Control D or Command D on a Mac. Go to Basics, then Header and Text to add a header. Select the text to change the font, font size, color, alignment, and more. Change the background color to make the flowchart stand out. Make your flowchart more engaging by applying actionable items to any part of your flowchart. For example, link the Don't Do It button to a URL, such as a website. Now you're ready to share the flowchart. Click the Share button to publish it to the web or embed it to your website. If you don't have any animated features in your infographic, the best option is to download it. Click the Download button to export the file as a JPEG or PNG or as a PDF. And if you have an interactive flowchart, to maintain interactivity, you can share as a link, embed to your site, or download as HTML5. 
To learn what other amazing content you can create, visit visme.com.